Sorry, Bruce. <laughs> well, we've got a great show lined up for you, but I'll tell you, we were going to be joined by Britain's ambassador to Turkey, Bernard Matthews. <laughs> he was going to come on and sing, everything is beautiful. <laughs> and Penelope Keith, she was going to be here, but unfortunately, she's having a nose transplant. <laughs> Bad news is they've run out of toffee. <laughs> We've got a great show lined up for you once again. Will you please welcome four lovely people? It's the Stats Bearcats! <laughs> Lace up your boots and let me show you around. You like it? Love it. Bet you about a dollar you lose. The booth in Chicago. Chicago. Jack the child really jumped out. Why, Mr. Billy Sunday couldn't shut the old place down. The folks kept going to town. On State Street, that great street. I just want to say, hey now. Yes, they really, really do things they don't do on that way. Combination, funny name or a funny act. It's Dudley Doolittle. Thanks very much, Jeff. It's not my real name, that of course, Dudley Doolittle. It's a stage name. My real name's Dennis. Dennis Doolittle. <laughs> <laughs> He's a strange place. It's I just been stood at the bar there, and this fella comes through the door, and he goes up the wall, across the ceiling, down the other wall, goes to the bar, and says, "Love a pint of mild." Drinks the mild out the pub. Two minutes later, he's back again, up the wall, across the ceiling, down the wall. Pint a mile, please. And out he goes. I said to the barman, that's strange, isn't it? He said, it is. He normally drinks bitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see all you lads. No, it's OK. Throw money. It's nice, nice to see all you lads bringing your wives out, you know. Cos we used to come in the clubs and we used to ask that question. What are you laughing at? Did he bring you out? <laughs> <laughs> we did. We used to come in the clubs at once and we used to ask that question, anybody get married? And at one time, there'd be lots of people. We've got married. We are getting married. We might have to. <laughs> <laughs> Waste of time now, though, about marriage, because it's going out. And you know the reason why marriage is going out? The women. Women's lib. Oh, listen. Yeah, isn't that right, lads? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Women's libs ran amok. We've given them an inch. They've took a mile. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to sleep at night. We think we've gone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing everything. Playing darts, pool, dominoes, snooker. We've even had an American women's rugby team over here. Women play rugby league. They played Salford in Manchester for a warm-up game and won. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a woman leading the country, haven't we, Mrs Thatcher? Bye, go. Must take her an hour every morning to wash her faces. The <laughs> clown <laughs> in your pocket. Thatcher stood on the canal banking. Suddenly, she loses her footing and she falls in the canal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but as luck would have it, two little lads from Putney are walking along the canal banking. <laughs> Not wanting the fish to suffer as well. 
They jump in the canal and they pull her out by the perm. And she turns to the first little boy, she says, little boy, you have just saved the Prime Minister's life. I shall grant you any wish you like. So the first little lad gives, he said, well, I'll tell you what, Maggie. He said, <laughs> he said, there were 15 kids in our family. He said, and I've always wanted a gold watch. She said, little boy, for saving my life, you may have a gold watch and well done. And she turns to the second little boy. She said, what would you like for saving the Prime Minister's life? He said, I'll have a state funeral, please. <laughs> oh, she said, for a little boy. He said, when I tell my dad who I've pulled out the canal, I'll need one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Good night. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Nice to see you, Dad. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, we have a little game for a pint, all right? Have a game of name, name, Yeah, all right, for a pint. I'm going to sing this tune, right, and you name it. La, 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 la. You're a good singer, Jeff. Go on, name it. Music, music, music. That's right, and I'll tell you what, for a bonus pint, will you name the singer? I'll name it in three. Go on, then. Teresa Brewer, Teresa Brewer, Teresa Brewer. He said it, Teresa Brewer. friend of yours. It's JJ Stewart. was written by a Dutch composer, one of the lesser-known Dutch composers, a gentleman by the name of Hertz van Rentel. My new LP, <laughs> have you ever been grabbed by the doolies? <laughs> <laughs> from the sound of music, Edelweiss. <clears throat>
If you don't all clap now, I'm going to fall over. a lot of fine comedians and our next guest artist has been fine more than others <laughs> please welcome Lenny Winter thank you. oh lovely thanks Jeff what a lovely lady any mother-in-law's in any mother-in-law's yeah. how are you old bags oh that where are you <laughs> I've got a mother-in-law she came over to my house about three weeks ago she said, what's that horrible, filthy, disgusting thing on a wall? Is it modern art? I said, no, it's a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my missus a microwave. Now she can screw my meal up in four minutes flat. <laughs> <laughs> Any Irish people in? Yeah. I'll do the gag slow then, all right, Ken? <laughs> listen, listen, I think the Irish are wonderful. I saw this Irish fellow with a bicycle above his head. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm holding a rally. <laughs> That's good. Oh, why not? You haven't laughed at me yet, you? I laughed at you when you come in, didn't we, Ken? <laughs> Listen, I've had a lot of bad luck lately, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, seriously, bad luck seems to run in my family. I bet if I broke into Buckingham Palace, I'd end up with Princess Anne's bedroom. <laughs> when you leave here tonight, You'll be leaving here with somebody you love and you care for. I'll be leaving here on my own. Aww. Unless I can pull something. <laughs> no, it's all right, love. I'll leave on my own. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. Working in this pub is great, but it's nothing like the pub I drink in. The pub I drink in is a meeting place for Catholic sailors. 
It's called the Pope and Anchor. It's a lovely place. I tell you, the landlord, he used to work in an American prison. At half past ten, he goes round shouting, any last requests? <laughs> it's a funny place. And the barmaid, she is fat. She's got so many double chins, her neck has banisters. <laughs> you get some great places. Great places to do, you know, when you're doing a cabaret act. I did one once at Buckingham Palace, and they're all there. And all of a sudden, I heard... I said, what's that? I said, it's the Queen. I said, I didn't know she could play the trumpet. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Talking of parties, I love going to those parties where they do the business. You know, you read about in the papers. The business. You go back, right? And now I am the other day, there's one of those parties where you all throw your car keys in the middle, the business. And I spent my night in an AA box in Potter's Bar. <laughs> I, I met a lovely girl the other week. She came back to my flat. I've got a bachelor flat. It's full of soup. <laughs> she said, I'm going to slip into something cooler. I found her in the fridge. <laughs> she said to me, she said, do you know, Jeff, I'd love to be a clairvoyant. I said, really? I'll teach you the business. No problem. She said, will you? I said, yeah, take your clothes off. She said, hang on, I know what comes next. I said, hey, are you learning already? <laughs> I said to her, listen, I said to her, I said, no, I said, if I made love to you, would you shout for help? She said, you don't need help, do you? <laughs> I went to one of those bookings the other week, and it's for the hard of hearing. And I took my brother, because he's a bit thick. He goes looking for gas leaks with a safety match. <laughs> <laughs> and we're there, and it's one, it's a show, and it's, it's for the hard of hearing. And there's this beautiful girl in the middle of the floor. I went up to her, and I went... <laughs> she went, the business. I thought, great, so I've had a dance with her. I've gone... She went, so I bought her a drink. This fella walked up to her and he went, hello, Cheryl, do you want to dance? She said, no, I'm stuck with this deaf and dumb fella. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please welcome back onto the knees up for lovely people, it's Studs Bear Cats. Come go walk with me now, walk up that you see now. Chicks are look so pretty, they don't give me no feeling. Street. 
that's all we have time for on the knees up tonight. From us all in the pub, say goodnight to the viewers. Yeah. See you soon.